Hello everybody and welcome to episode 6 of Pixelmon. This neat arena is probably going to want to fight. Yes, she will. Okay. Uh, I recorded an intro uh, in the last episode and it was uh, the wrong number. So I want to apologize for that. It's episode 6 right now and it's episode 5 was the last episode, I guess. Uh, and I kind of, my intro messed up while recording. So I'm recording this again uh, and I will now cut to where the other one is all good. Look at behind me. It's a Blaziken boss. Uh, a mega boss, even. So let's see if we can kill him. Uh, we're gonna do acrobatics. He just high jump kicked. That did quite good. Speed boost increased his speed. I'll just do a quick attack and see if I'm faster because he's gonna feign me anyway. And then we can just do Greninja. And I am recording just to make sure. Flare Blitz wasn't very effective and it killed me. He's just super fast. Uh, Gabite, can you take a hit? Gabite. Nope. Uh, Togetic. Just need to take a hit. Apparently not. Nope. Oh, Blaziken fainted. He used Flare Blitz. We got Blazikenite and a Splash Plate. We got it. Nice. That's our third Mega Stone. It's really cool. They just spawn like on me. <laughs> it's just so weird. Uh, okay, cool. We got it. It's really nice. Awesome. Uh, Leah, welcome to another episode. I don't have anything specifically planned just now. Uh, what I was doing in between episodes while the video was exporting, I was just punching out the grass over here because with the gra without the grass, we can see easier what uh, Pokemon spawn and find a ditto faster possibly because the dittos can be quite small. Uh, but uh, I've just been running around and uh, looking for stuff. I think we're going to go... See if we can find a Houndur or a Houndoom today. I think they spawn in the Mesa, so I will fly over there. Uh, but I'll just do a quick run through. You can still see the seeds from when I was punching the grass. If there's, a, if we get lucky and find a Ditto, but I don't think we will, uh, because it's a very, very low percent chance. We'll just punch the grass. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be working on the grass in between episodes, and possibly on a stream we're going to go just on a rampage and just remove all of the grass here. Uh, hello, little Leo. How are you doing? Uh, but yeah, I did a little bit of fishing. I didn't get anything interesting. No no enchanted books or anything uh, so far. So that is all good. Uh, I need to uh, re repair my pokes, I wanted to say. I need to heal. Because <laughs> the blades could just wreck everybody. Um, all right. I think we could go with a Mega Blaziken. Or a Mega Houndoom for the tournament. Because uh, I want to mention, even though there is a new tournament up, we're going to do level 45 max pokes. No legendaries, no mythics, uh, one Mega Evolution, no, I don't think any held items. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You can use any Pokemon you want. Uh, so yeah, uh, we are going to need to f make a team. I asked a friend who is a really, uh, he plays Pokemon quite a bit, or at least did, and he played them so much that he knows all about EVs, IVs, and all that, and which pokes could be good to use. So he suggested a team. And also, I want suggestions from you guys to in the comments. Let me know what team you would want to see, or what team you think could be cool and give us the best chances of winning, I guess. Uh, but I think I'll go to the Mesa, so I'll grab on my Talonflame. I actually caught a new one. This one is level... Uh, 49 they just sometimes fly around here and this guy has a lowered special attack and increased defense So that's really cool because we need I mean the ideal nature would be lowered special attack higher attack probably uh, And he has pretty uh, good speed. I don't know what uh, hello Nidoran Thank you uh, What speed are you? Uh, bu 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 the other one. This is the 49. This is the one I had before uh, So this guy has 105 speed and he has lowered speed and he's also giant growth and I caught another one as well But this guy is runt growth uh, and has a relaxed nature. So he has lowered speed as well So these two I won't use we can use them for breeding if we wanted to get a better fletchling uh, But for now, it's all good. Uh, I'll heal up again. I don't know if a uh, gamite got hurt, but gamite is really close to evolving um, I also locked in Greninja because I think I'll use Greninja in the tournament as well. Uh, could be really cool with the whole Protean thing. I just might need to get some better moves on him, uh, which we can probably find through move tutors. But you can click this button, little L here, and you see, you can disable leveling. And I won't enable leveling just yet. 
which is really neat. Okay, so off to the Mesa, which is really close by. It's right over here. So, and search for a Houndoom or a Houndour. And we can try and catch him if I get to hit him. No. There we go. I'm just going to do a quick ball. I need to make some more Ultra Balls. I'm down to 23. So we're going to need to... Possibly we can make some Mechanic and al Anvils. Wow, that was... How did you revenge me so much? It's just okay. Let's Dragon Rage. Rock Climb. Can I get another Dragon Rage off? I can. I might just have to go back home and heal. A Petal Blizzard. But that's not very effective. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get a Poison Powder on him. And now I'm going to start chucking, chucking Pokeballs at it. Uh, Spag, Pokeballs, Ultra Ball. Maybe I get lucky. Nope. Night Slash. Two left. Ultra Ball. If he kills Talonflame, I, d I have to... Uh, yep, I have to walk back. <laughs> Come on. Ultra Ball. And I don't... I might have my PC... I have an Ender Chest on me, uh, so I think I have a PC on me. Nope. Oh, he killed himself. Wow. Okay. Uh, I can't fly on Togetic. Is there any... There's Poke Centers right here, so I'll just run over to there and heal up over there. I'm still looking for the Houndour, but a Drapion spawned, and we can try and catch him. I'm just gonna do a Quick Ball. Because Drapion is pretty cool as well. He's a, I believe, Poisoned Ground? Yeah, Possibly just... No, he's Bug Points of them. Bug Poisoned Ground. Let's do Dragon Rage, because that is, is the set amount. Do another one. Right. That should be good. And we can just do Dusk Mouse. We have a few left. We have 63. Broke free. Another Dusk Wall. Go. We got him. He was sent to my PC. I think I have my PC in my Ender Chest, but again, I don't have Silk Touch. I don't want to use my Ender Chest. My Gabite's fainted, though, so we'll just use Greninja. Uh... And hoping we find a Houndur. There's a Clay Doll. I'll catch a Clay Doll. I found a Houndur. He just spawned here. Let's get him. Quick ball. Please don't be stubborn. If not, I have Alakazam who can probably hurt him a little bit. No, he can't actually. We got him. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, there's also... Ooh, I just saw it. A Macargo. I believe these guys can be milked for... <clears throat> it's either of these, I think camera ups as well. I have a Numel, Numel but he's level 60. Uh, I say why not? Just get a quick ball out. See if we can we can catch him. Broke free. Let's just do Dragon Rage. He has recovered though. So he might just heal up. Shell Smash, his defense was decreased and attack with speed was increased sharply. So let's do a, an Ultra Ball. It's turning to be day. So I'll just do Ultra Balls. It was actually the first night that I found the... Oh, he got healed. I don't want to do Dragon Claw because that might kill him because he has... He's the, increasing his attack and decreasing... You just murdered me. Okay, Greninja, you're going to be able to tank a little bit. Ultra Ball, go. I know he's not as low in HPs. He just, like, he almost one-shots with a... Um, with a whatchamacallit. I'm just going to do this. We're going to run. Uh, we're going to bring out Talonflame. We're going to try again. We're going to do a quick ball. Clear smog. Stat changes were eliminated. Pokeball. Uh, let's not... No, let's not do that. Let's uh, give him a acrobatics. That does nothing. He's decreasing his special defense and increasing his attack. I'll just do another acrobatics. He's going to heal up again. Uh, so long as I leave my Alakazam alive, I can just uh, TP back to the... Uh, to the healer, so that's all good. Come on, be caught. Yeah, we got him. Nice. Okay, let's just do this. And then G. Boom. And we can heal up. Let's look at the 
peeps we caught. The Macargo has magma armor, which prevents the Pokemon from becoming frozen. I think magma armor also speeds up egg hatching. I don't know if it works here as well. Uh, if that's the case, he's giant in growth, which is really cool, and has a bold nature. That's a, well, He's a special attacker, so it might not be bad, actually. He has really, really high defense. Okay, and Houndour, he has flash fire, he has increased defense, lowered special defense. That's a bad nature, he's ordinary growth. I think uh, I uh, we would need to breed him up to, to get him to a good spot, but I don't think I'll have much time for breeding. Uh, to the upcoming tournament because of uh, me going on vacation for a week and the tournament is maybe gonna happen even while I'm on vacation if there's that's when most people can join or if it'll happen a little bit after I come back and then I won't really have that much time to get everything sorted so yeah we'll see how, uh, we'll see how it goes it, it doesn't really matter it's my first tournament I just want to have fun to be honest uh, but yeah Okay, so let me figure out what we can do next. Uh, maybe find another poke, but I don't think I have an, I have much time to go out looking for pokes. That's a ponytail. It looks like a Kingler or a Krabby, uh, like a giant one. Uh, all right, I'll be back. I want to make some mechanical anvils, and those require sticky pistons, which require slime balls. And slime balls we can get f by foraging with a poison Pokemon, for example, Drapion, onto water, I believe. There is a 25% chance... Uh, to drop a slime ball. There we go. I think I'll only get just a couple of these Should be good. I didn't even check or show you Drapion's stats. Uh, he has battle armor, so he's protected from critical hits uh, And he has home claws, poison fag, poison sting, bug bite And he has a naughty nature and is enormous in growth So he has an increased attack and lowered special defense, which is actually a decent nature for him uh, So do we get another slime ball? No, just seeds. Go away here. And I'm just gonna see about getting a few slime balls and then we're gonna craft the mechanical anvils so we can uh, make more pokeballs. Also, I wanted to show you some things I caught off camera and I kind of forgot to show you. I caught two Vaporeons so we can breed those to get Eevees, I think. Uh, this guy is a runt growth and this guy is a also runt growth, but you get those by fishing. I, fish, I was fishing over there in that lake. Uh, Alakazam, you can come back, you know. Uh, that's a Growly. Uh, every time I just like look down, is there a ditto? <laughs> and there isn't currently. Okay, so I got two slime balls. So we can grab some iron, a little bit of redstone. Let's just grab the rest of this. We'll actually need a bit more iron. So I'll just get this going. We're also gonna need some chests and some regular wood. So we can craft a couple of pistons. Uh, oh, I need cobble. Cobbly stones, there we go. One, two pistons, and then two sticky pistons, and we need some iron bars. Uh, I believe 16 will be fine because we just need to do that, and then I need furnaces as well, so we're gonna grab if I have some, I do, and that this should be the mechanical anvil. Okay, so these, these, and those. Awesome. Uh, let's toss the iron bars in a random chest over here. And then I'm going to need another set of hoppers. So I'm going to need two for the bottom to extract. Six total, I believe. And I have enough chests. And we can set this up mm, right here on this side. So let's do a double chest like so. Hoppers in the back. We're going to put down the mechanical anvils. Awesome. Uh, I'm hoping I can insert fuel from the front. Uh, so we'll see if I grab, I'm um, gonna also maybe go and make a bunch of buckets at some point and not use coal for fuel, but we're gonna grab half a stack of coal box and just toss these in here. Does work, wonderful. And I need to go on top to uh, put in the hoppers. So if we do like that and like that, and then this and that, I hope. Yeah, I think that should be good. So my axe. Like so, and I'm gonna grab a little bit of iron for the rest that I have. And we can make some Pokeball discs. So it's just like this, and that makes a stack in 41. So let's grab, let's just make a bunch. 
Like I'm gonna go mining anyway and we don't really need iron for anything right now. So let's just make all of these and get those cooking. So that should start doing its thing. It's going into the hoppers, but it's not going into here. So do I need to insert differently? Or can I insert from the back? Okay, so I can insert from the back. Oh, hello, Crowley. So back is the insert apparently as well. So we're gonna do like that. And the coal went into the right spot. I wonder if I, uh, let's just take these out. I wonder if I toss it in this hopper. Does it also go in? I think it does. Yep, it definitely does, because it went into this one. So you can use the same hopper for fuel and for items. That's neat. Okay. That's fine. I pro I assume as long as I have the fuel inside, it's gonna it's gonna do the thing properly. Uh so I'm just gonna wait for them to fill up. Oh, this one's already full. Uh, and these I need to split in half. So let's just fill this guy up like that and then just toss this in there there we go so they're all cooking now wonderful we did we have made two extra hoppers and i already had seven hoppers here but that is absolutely fine um i'm gonna put the redstone in here because we don't need it right now uh, but we have mechanical uh, mechanical anvils now automated which is lovely let's get rid of a little bit of blocks in my inventory just to have it nice and clean Awesome. Okay. Um, that's another Blaziken boss. I just, I fought one in the beginning of the episode. And that's another one. Uh, so let's see if we can take this one as well. And I have, I am recording. So if I don't get a drop, oh, he's gonna just... Ninja. Be faster than him. Just instantly kills me. Talonflame. I don't have one. Po I'm missing one poke. Uh, acrobatics. I avoided the high jump kick. Oh, I got him. No drops. See? None of them. So I have it recorded. And we are going to see if we can... Uh, we can get a Megastone out of that. So I can trade it up for some to somebody. But I recorded that. I also fought a Manectite boss, but I don't have it to record it. And he also didn't drop anything. Uh, I need to get a sixth Pokemon, though. Uh, but that was cool. Another boss. So at least I have that recorded. And I'm going to send that to Tilted Wings. Okay. Our Houndour is evolving. I just fought one Audido. I didn't know he was going to evolve this soon. But he's evolving. <laughs> and he's a Houndoom. Nice. He's really small though. <laughs> so let's uh, let's get also our, our Gibite. Gibite. Gabite. If I don't toss him on grass, is almost evolved. He's level 44. I think he evolves at level 45. I'm not sure. He might evolve later, though. Uh, but the mega bosses uh, drop uh, their mega stone when you kill them first time. They drop it 100% of the time. And every time after, if you kill the same mega boss, it's a 1 in 40 chance to drop you a mega stone. Uh, so that's kind of how it works. Uh, what level are you, Scyther? Level 50. There's another odd no. Let's just get Gabite, because I need levels. So let's just finish off this gun. I love Autonos that have heal pulse, because they just, like, they hurt you a little bit, and then they heal pulse you, so you're just healed up again, and it's just really nice. But Dragon Rage is, has been... No, I'm going to control O, first of all, to hide that, and we're going to just switch. Houndoom, go. Can you take a hit? You have bite. That does nothing. I'm probably fainted. No, I'm not. Greninja, go. Finish this. This Audino is super strong. Houndoom level 25. Awesome. We're going to check out the Mega Evolution right now. I just want to heal him up. And then we're going to evolve our Gabite probably. I'm just going to see if I can find another Audino or two. Uh, but let's get a the Houndoomanite. Uh, let's get this out of the way and give it to our Houndoom. And then I could do this. And do I be Mega Evolve? Tito, tito. 
Bam! He's a Mega Houndoom. Looks really cool though. That he, he looks really, really cool. He's cute. He's so cute and cool and looking. And I have a first Mega Pokemon. Woohoo! Okay. Nice. I'm just gonna keep the the Mega Stone on him, and I'm gonna go around and find a couple more Audino. And my phone is ringing because my girlfriend's calling me. I'll call her in a momento. Uh, I'll just see if I can find another. Can we kill a Buffalant? Probably. Uh, he's normal type. Uh, we uh, most definitely are just gonna swap to Greninja and see if we can take a hit and give it a Water Shuriken. Just does so little. Water Pulse. Water Shuriken. We got him. We got beefs. That's just the Nidoran. Okay, let me see if I can find another Autono or something and just level up this uh, Gabite. I need to go back to heal. Uh, but I'll level him up and I'll bring you back for the evolution. I think I'm going to end the episode off here. I want to just mention that Gabite evolves at level 48, not 45 like I thought. And he's level 45 now, so we can't really use him in the tournament. But I think with that, I want to thank you all for watching. I'm hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Also, consider subscribing to see new videos. Support me on Patreon if you want. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.